guys, it's Maya from Kumara Yoga. I'm here today to do some farm themed yoga poses with you today. I'm super excited. There's lots of animals and things that you could find on the farm that are great for yoga poses. If you'd like to know more about any kids yoga poses, any lesson plans, or any other resources that you might need for doing yoga with kids at home or at school, check the resources in the description box. Thanks. All right, before we start, we will listen to the sound of the bell. That helps our minds to focus so that we're ready to follow along, pay attention, and use our best listening ears. When you can't hear the sound of the bell anymore, show a thumbs up. That way you know that your mind is stopped listening because you can't hear it anymore, not because you're thinking about something else. Try to keep listening the whole time. Great job listening. All right, on our farm adventure today, we're gonna just talk about some animals that you might see on the farm, okay? Now, if you were going to the farm, you might first need to get into a car. Get into your car, put your feet out, okay? We're gonna pretend that you get to drive the car today. Put your hands on the steering wheel, we're gonna go left and right and bump our knees. Uh oh. We forgot our seatbelt. Put your seatbelt on. Hurry up. And let's do the other one to be safe. All right, let's go again. Here we go. That's a noisy car. Oh, all right, let's get out. And let's put in some nice boots for trekking around the farm. Sometimes there's a lot of mud, so we're gonna stand up and get some big boots on. Reach down, put on one boot. Yeah, and the other boot. Good job. All right, I think we're ready to go. First thing I see way up on a beautiful hill is a lovely tree. Okay, so come into tree pose. Put your foot on your ankle and bring your branches from your heart all the way up and reaching out and hold nice and still, Look, looking at one spot to help you focus and not fall. Move your tree branches side to side in the wind, a gentle breeze. Good, and let's switch foot, feet, other side. Put your other foot on your ankle, bring your hands up past your heart and out like branches, reaching to the side and the other side other side. Good, and come back down. Well, over there by that beautiful tree, as we get closer, going up the hill, we hear a little sound. And then we hear some other sounds. Oh my goodness, there is a cat chasing a mouse. Quick, let's be the mouse and hide. Come on to your knees, bring your hands back by your feet, and press your head down onto the mat or the floor. Hide like a little mouse. <laughs> Take three breaths. Good hiding. I think we got rid of the cat. I see that cat. She's on her way to the tree. Come onto your hands and knees. Press your knees into the floor and your hands in. Arch your back up like a kitty cat. Stretching in the sunshine. Say hello. And move back and forth, stretch your back. Good. And then way off in the distance, of course, we hear lower your belly like a cow. A big cow with a big belly. Press your hands in, look up, and say, good job. And then lower down and get some grass. Chew the grass and say, Ooh. and then we hear in response the kitties coming to say hello. Meow. Good. 
Good job, honey. Hi, meow. Wow, those cows and kitties are such good friends. It's good that they have each other to play on the farm. And of course, who else loves to come and play is the puppy. So caress your arms, your hands into the floor, straighten your spine. You can bend your knees and wiggle your puppy tail. Puppies love to play. They're hopping around. They're jumping and barking. They're so happy that we've come to visit them. They're wagging their tails. Good job, puppies. Woof, woof. Woof, 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 woof. Good job, dogs. Everywhere at the farm, they're so happy to be here. Whoa, I love the dogs. They're so friendly. Another thing that we always love to look for on the farm, and the dogs take us right over there, is our lovely friends, the horses. Now, the horses are way on the other side of the pasture. They love to run around, kind of like the dog, but they lift their feet and they kick their feet up. So lift your foot up like a horse, kicking way up. And if you want to and you're feeling brave, you can even press your other foot in and kick up, kick up like a horse. Good. Take your other foot, reach it way up like a horse, stretching and kicking. You can do some hops and kick up like a horse. Be very careful of anything that's nearby you. Good. And those horses have some friends there too called donkeys. Bring your feet a little closer to your hands and bend your knees, coming into kind of squat with your hands forward. Donkeys also like to kick, but they kick both feet at the same time. We're gonna try that, it's a little trickier. So come bending your knees. We're gonna do a hop and bring your feet up to your bum. Try that again, hop. Good, one more donkey hop. And then you can say, yee-haw, yee-haw. Nice job, donkeys. Whoa, those animals are just really playing around and having a great time out at the farm. After we see the horses and the donkeys, we walk on down to the pond. One of my favorite places. And actually, we have to go back down the hill, so we better roll all the way there. Okay, so I'm gonna move my tools here. And come onto my belly. And I'm gonna do some rolling. So bring your arms in and roll to one side. Good, I'm gonna roll to the other side. Good, whoa, one more roll all the way down that hill. All the way to the pond. Oh, we made it. That was awesome. I love rolling down hills. Oh man. Down by the pond, we hear. It's the chickens. Come up onto your tippy toes with your knees together. And we're gonna try to walk, uh, trot around like little chickens. So bring your little chicken wings out here. And wiggle like a little chicken. Beep, 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 little baby chick. Beep, 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 beep. Or quack, 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 like the hens. Sometimes they flap their wings out and they try to fly. Whoa, whoa, they're not very good at flying. Whoa, whoa. Nice job, chickens. And our other animal that we see down at the pond, first we see the ducks who also kind of waddle. So we waddle like this. So I'm gonna put my hands in here and waddle side to side like a duck and get ready to go in the water. And also in the water, of course, we see ribbit, ribbit, boing, ribbit, ribbit, boing, our friends the frog, ribbit, ribbit, boing, 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 boing. Whoa, that's a lot of jumping frogs in that pond. My goodness. Whew. All right, so after seeing all those animals, we're super excited to hear that we get to go for a tractor ride. Oh man, I haven't been in a tractor in so long. Tractors are super fun. You gotta get way up in the tractor seat and then you gotta drive the tractor with a big round steering wheel. So, you gotta get way up on the seat, way up high, and get your arms out. Get ready to steer with a big tractor. So steer one way, whoa, and the other way. Whoa, 
and that tractor is pulling behind it a big machine that helps create holes in the ground to put some seeds. That big machine the tractor is driving is called a plow. Okay, we're going to do plow pose, which is really fun. You're going to come onto your seat, put your hands high behind you, feet out and straight, and then you're going to roll all the way to your feet, come over your head and onto the floor. Keep your hands down on the floor or you can put them on your back to help you <clears throat> all the way into plow. You could come here too if you want. That's totally fine. But this is plow. Help sewing, making some holes in the ground to put some seeds, to sow the seeds so that plants and crops can grow to feed the people. And then a long time after the seeds are planted, and they've started to grow, let's grow like plants, maybe like corn. You could imagine you're a long stock of corn, starting really small and growing up nice and big, growing up really tall. Oh my goodness, that's a big ear of corn. Perfectly ripe and ready to harvest. Now, the tractor needs to pull a big machine called a combine. That combine is going to harvest the food. And the combine's really, really wide. The tractor's pretty narrow and then the combine's really big. So put your feet out wide, stretch your feet out, and you're gonna have to go across the whole field to collect all of the food and separate out the parts that we can eat and the parts that we can't eat. So stretch your fingers all the way, toes, reach all the way across the field. You've gotta go from one side of the field all the way over to the other side of the field. And it could take all day Farmers work long, hard hours to make sure that people everywhere and animals have food to eat to stay healthy. Good job, combines. Now, another very important animal on the farm that can help out the farmers once they've separated out the food that the people get to eat, there's a bunch of leftover food. And who are the animals that get to eat that leftover food? My favorite animals, the pigs. So come on to your back. There's gonna be some pigs that have had a lovely meal of all the extra food. Just bring your feet up like your pig rolling around in the mud, enjoying the nice cool mud with a nice full belly. So happy to have eaten and had a lovely snack and a meal. Rolling around like a lovely little pig. Oh. Now let's bring our feet all the way back down to the floor and imagine that we're laying on the ground underneath a beautiful tree. First tree that we saw. You can stretch your legs out long on the floor. You can lay any way you feel comfortable. Putting a hand on your tummy and on your heart. You can notice your heart beating and your belly breathing. And imagining that the lovely tree branches with green bright leaves are all stretched out above you and beyond that the bright blue sky and the warm yellow sun and you see some red birds flying across the sky you hear the sound of the crickets and the grass you can hear the lovely sound of the wind whooshing the branches gently to and fro. And the other sounds of the farm busy working, the machines, the people, the animals, all coming together and helping each other to make sure that we stay healthy and fed. Bringing your arms around your body to give yourself a hug. Bring your knees in. You can give your knees a little hug and roll to the side, gently resting. You rest your head on your hand. And you're ready to sit all the way back up. And take a few deep breaths before we go on with whatever it is we have next in our day. 
while you're breathing, I want you to imagine the wind moving through the trees. You can make a soft whoosh sound. You could put your hands together like a breathing ball that you have all on your own. Or you can use the whooshing sound to blow out candles. Here we go. Lovely job today. Thank you so much for joining me on my farm adventure. I hope you had a great time and I will see you back here again soon. Thank you. Bye.